get into this video, I just want to say that all these card concepts you see in this video were not created by me at all, and they're from Twitter. Each and every guy who worked on these concepts deserved a round of applause, and I left their Twitter in the video description below so you guys can follow them if you're not already following and be able to see even more concepts or just as a way to show support. That being said, in this video, I'll go over what is Team of the Year, how Team of the Year is picked according to EA in past years, how Team of the Year is picked this year, how you can vote to decide who becomes Team of the Year this year, a Reddit leak that surfaced and my thoughts on that, how the event may be structured structured or formatted and finally what you can do as a free to play or pay to play player to prepare accordingly. Let's kick off with the very basics. What is team of the year? Team of the year is a team of players released on a yearly basis. Select players will be rewarded blue cards based on their real performance on the previous year but team of the year is picked differently this year and I'll get to that later in the video. Usually the team of the year is released in mid January. Last year's team of the year kicked off around January 9th. Last year's team of the year consisted of players who played well during the calendar year according to the International Federation of Professional footballers or FIF Pro. Don't confuse team of the year with team of the season which has nothing to do with the calendar year but related to players of each league who has played well during the season. How many players are selected for the team of the year? 11. The team of the year is made up of one goalkeeper, four defenders, three midfielders, and 3-4 where each category can contain a player in any position. How many nominees does the team of the year have? 55. How team of the year will be select? This information comes from EA Sports website which was included in EA's official FIFA mobile tweet and the screenshots you will see here are the nominees. It used to be where team of the year was based on FIFA Pro World 11 but this year they're doing something different. A lot of information I already went over is repeated. So from the EA Sports website it says ballot box. For the first time ever, the team of the year will be voted on by a carefully curated list of media, athletes, and EA Sports FIFA community members. This collective of ballot recipients has been chosen to represent the millions of EA Sports FIFA players all over the world. Each team will be selected from a short list of 55 players nominated by EA Sports for their real world performance in 2017. Custom built ballot boxes will be delivered to each recipient on January 8th, containing all 55 of the nominee player items. Each vote will consist of three attackers, three midfielders, four defenders, and one goalkeeper in a 4-3-3 formation. Each ballot recipient will cast their vote by posting a photo of their team on social media with hashtag team of the year vote by January 12th. The ballot submitted by this group will account for 60 of the final vote. The remaining 40 of the votes will be cast by EA Sports. So remember that a lot of people vote not for who that deserves it, but who they want to see in FIFA, which reminds me of a program called Footies that releases after Team of the Year every year. If you do decide to vote, just Google Foothead Team of the Year Vote or Footwiz Team of the Year Vote or something similar to that and you'll be redirected to Foothead or Footwiz to cast your votes. I'll also leave a link in the description to these sites if you haven't already voted. I think they're throwing out these numbers as a facade to make it seem as though we have a say in things, but at the end of the day EA is pulling strings. Maybe they're just buying time. Either way, it's still nice of Foothead and Footwiz to give us the right of a vote for these players. And then the website says, the final team of the year will be announced starting on January 15th with the special team of the year player items available in packs for a limited time in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team and FIFA Mobile. Even though this year they're doing things a little bit differently, we may see some part of the FIFA Pro World 11 in our game. That means Buffon, Alves, Bonucci, Ramos, Marcelo, Modric, Cruz, Iniesta, Neymar, Ronaldo, and last but not least Messi. But I'd love to have David De Gea get a team of the year card this year. All this information is official from EA. Now here's the part of the video where I will talk about the Reddit leaks that has been surfacing around on the internet. This guy named Ray Day Football is a different guy from that guy named Jared who tends to leak on Reddit. And this time around, Ray Day Football was way earlier than predicted. And perhaps he did it as a way to get karma. And some people who data mine the game files as well called him out on Reddit. So in my opinion, most of it's just a fake leak. The writer himself is claiming it's true. I won't read this whole post and I would have included a link in the description below to the reddit post but it was taken down from all the downvotes and then reposted so I don't know if the link is still there. Footbin, Foothead Mobile, 
profile and developers confirm according to their words it was fake because not everything is 100% true or even 100% false. Some things hold even an ounce of truth to it somewhere in context. So this tweet by Foothead Mobile just contradicts themselves. They're saying it's 100% false and yet they don't have any details on team of the year yet it just sounds like these guys are scared of the players actually being prepared for this event so the redditor is claiming foothead is misdirecting us but we'll have to see when the actual event drops on or around january 15th the foothead mobile is faking or not either way it shouldn't be long before we find out through social media and if normal in-game announcements are anything to go by we could learn something in the next couple of days don't believe everything you see or hear including from me too i'm just saying what i believe but let's take a closer look at what ray day football says in this post and that will give us an idea of what might happen during team of the year again we're only looking at this to imagine how team of the year will plan out i am not claiming it is true whatsoever i won't read this whole post but i'll go over the highlights it starts off by listing the team of the year players and this post is actually based on the fifa world 11 which i'll leave a link in the description he mentioned a couple things that there's not only packs for each position like attacker midfielder but also notice how he says it's purchasable with either fifa points or coins during the freeze event and hourly bonus gift event there was a double this post also hints at that there's team of the year items and packs as well in this post it references it as a team of the year point then it goes into saying that you need specific air nodes to complete nodes to get rewards but five is outlandish and almost unrealistic considering if drop rates for these supposed tokens are even that good it ends with team of the year including achievements kits and trophies which doesn't seem impossible team of the year has to be something fresh exciting something that grabs our attention don't give us the same old bullshit especially after the new domination player they did okay with football freeze and llr but this time you need to step up your game big time ea big time what i wouldn't want is for them to only release fifa points packs for pay to play players hopefully there will be different tiers of team of the year point packs offers this reddit post by a guy named jerick who i previously mentioned has leaked some things in the past that actually came into fruition saying that there will be team of the year items and then he goes to say there's extra large jumbo large medium and, and small team of the year offer in packs so it looks like they'll release different kind of packs and most likely the extra large pack is at better face value than the jumbo and so on and so forth the question is will they drop another bomb on us and make them only fifa point only packs but with this being one of the biggest if not the biggest event in fifa mobile i don't think they want to mess up and piss off millions of players now this post also includes squad building challenges but under that section does not include team of the year so we may assume team of the year will not have sbcs but who knows as it's ea and then like other events they'll probably come out with a team of the year logo let's say they do release coin packs during team of the year that indicates that items that come off the market may be required for team of the year or simply that team of the year may be tradable but that's not confirmed at all this picture that you're seeing is obviously fake but it's just a visual to show what the team of the year pack might look like if they're tradable and able to be packed through coins there's your answer coins will be a must and actually it's a bit fair It'll allow pay to play to get cards quickly and free to play to earn them over time. The greatest good for the greatest amount of people. Common sense that EA lacks. Another question is how long will the event last? This is one of the biggest events in FIFA Mobile so I don't think it'll be just a couple of days, a few weeks or even months but instead come and go like last season. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below but I personally think it'll somewhat be like last season where team of the year packs get released and they return multiple times throughout the season including the events if there is any. This team of the year release will obviously include both console and mobile. But when we see news on Twitter or other websites, they don't mention events because it's geared at consoles. But we might have grindable events like we did during New Year's, Freeze event, and even LLR. On Twitter, EA teased us with this picture of Team of the Year players. And this picture comes from the official account. So this is the car art for the Team of the Year players that we can expect. And typical EA messed up with Nine Golan. But they fixed it later and even though they look like they're only at elite tom said they probably won't start as elite 
and more likely as master and above. As far as the players themselves, there may be a possibility that EA might bring out Team of the Year's specific skill boost like they did with the Freeze players and Domination, maximize money for one of the most anticipated events of the year. What this will enable them to do is release high rated players but not make them overpowered right away due to lower boosts. Obviously everyone has been preparing knowing that Team of the Year is in January and some of us have been preparing way before that. Either way, saving coins won't hurt you. EA wants to catch us unprepared, so they threw events at us to sink coins and FIFA points and then make us spend even more during Team of the Year when it's out. Cunning EA decided to release that 4 million coin icon pack, which drop rates probably were higher, mostly for Petit and Dico. 1,000 FIFA points for each new domination player that just got released and that pay to play weekend leak to name a few. Whether you're free to play or pay to play, more stamina you have, the better. Just in case they decide to drop grindable events along with packs. Don't let your daily ads go to waste and not watch them. Max out your stamina from ads if you haven't done so already and stack up on as much stamina as you can. You'll want to have as much as possible before team of the year comes out if they do decide to release events. You can get upwards of 100 stamina a day or 20 ads and that's not including if you have two unique devices like having an Android or iOS device which will give you 200 stamina in total theoretically to make the most out of this time of year you're going to open packs whether fifa points or if coin packs release if you're going to open them open them as soon as possible as you don't want to be undercut too early in the event if they do decide to make team of the year tradable as thousands of gamers open pack the market will see prices fall on an immense scale will there be a market crash a crash may be putting it strongly but there will probably be a lot of fluctuation some gamers may sell some of their best players to fund pack openings but ea probably won't let us pack them so easily so don't go too crazy on pack openings if you're planning on upgrading your team overall in the future since that will require fifa points and coins too how much would they cost if i bought team of the year cards are expensive we all probably know that considering last season because everybody wants them so just don't be surprised if they cost more than 5 million or even in the tens of millions price range it's not clear how ea will approach this event or will decide to make it free to play friendly let's just hope for the best but expect the worst because i know ea will somehow involve some kind of cash grab during these types of events will there be any role for free to play players in team of the year or or will team of the year be for pay to play like last season that answer is ultimately up for ea to decide whether they want this to be the best event so far in fifa mobile or be a complete crapshoot they need to keep in mind all kinds of players in this game not just pay to play if you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way please leave a like and shout out to samarth fx for creating this video's awesome thumbnail dude you're one of the best thank you so much shout out to all the guys from twitter who let me use their art for this video and i probably missed some points with team of the year leave it in the comments below and i'll respond as fast as possible have a nice day guys and thank you to all of my viewers who made it this far in this video or even clicked on the video and i'll catch you in the next one